Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video, and as you can see by the title, we have made two new signings, one was last night, and one was early today, Um I'm going to get into my thoughts of them, give you my thoughts on each signings, give you some facts and figures, and I'll let you know what my thoughts are, like I said, and we'll go through them, and yeah, so also let me know what you think, and also subscribe while you're here. So yes, as you can see by the first bit of the title, the first signing is our rivals, rivals to us, not so much rivals to them because we're a smaller club, but it is the centre back from Leeds United. Um, I do apologise if I butcher his name. His name is Apo H L M E. So I don't really know how you pronounce the second name. H A L M E. I'll show you it there at the top, as you can see. I don't really know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to butcher his name. As soon as I find out how to pronounce it, I'll come back. I'm just making this video after work, after I've got the tweets. I think it's Harme, Halame, Hala, Harme. I'll just call him Harme for now, and so like I say, I apologise if that's wrong. We've signed him from um, Leeds United on a three-year deal, um, with the option to extend after that three years is over. As you guys know, after this season we had three centre-backs, we had Lindsay, we had Jackson, we had Pinnock, and then three have gone, we've signed Anderson, Matt Anderson, like I've already done a video on, from, I um, can't remember what team, uh, a Danish team or something like that, and then we've just signed Apo Harme from Leeds United. That Anderson is 6 foot 4, I do believe, and this Harme is 6 foot 5, so we're basically we're signing big players. And also that Civic is a good six foot according to Wikipedia. So we're not signing, we're signing big players. So hopefully that should benefit us. Apo Harme is a 21 year old. Born in 19, 1998. We've got him for three years, possibly four. Which will lead him up to the age of 25 slash 26. If we extend that deal. If we extend it after the three years. Like I've already said to you, he is six foot five, which is massive. Pinnock and Lindsay, I think Pinnock was six foot four. This guy's six foot five. The keeper was signed six foot six, and the other centre back six foot six. So we're slowly getting some height into this team, including your big players like more up front. The keeper that I've already mentioned we've signed, the backup keeper or the other keeper as you call it, Collins. He's six foot. So we're signing some big players. So it's Apo Harme, like I say, six foot five. F Finland international is played for their. Um, international team a couple of times. He might have been the reserve team or the under 21s, but he has played for them. He started his career at a team called FC Honker in 2014 to 15, and he went to a team called CLUBI 04 Klubia in 2015. And he signed for another team called HJK Helsinki for 2015 to 2018, and then after that is when he went to Leeds United in 2018 to 2019. I've been reading what some of Leeds fans are saying. Obviously, because they've got the main two centre backs in Janssen and Cooper, and they've just signed that centre back from Brighton, that White, I do believe his name is. This 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 young lad's going to be their fourth choice. So, like I say, they don't need him. So he's come to us. We've signed him to them. Um, it's not going to make much of an impact on their season. One one centre back's not going to make us nick playoff spots in front of them. So it's not going to be career, It's not going to be season damaging to them selling one of their players to us. So yeah, like I say, he only played four games for Leeds United. But if don't forgive me if I've got this wrong, but I do believe one of them games was against Sheffield United at Bramall, Br Bramall Lane when they beat them one 0 and kept them to a clean sheet. So they kept the likes of Billy Sharp, David McGoldrick, um, Oliver Norwood, and all that to nil. So if he did play in that, and if what I've searched and my research is correct, then that's good. Um, and like I say, another four-year deal. We're signing big players and we're signing for the future, so yeah. Like I say, fair enough, we've lost Pinnock, we've lost Lindsay, but we're, we're replacing them. We're not just trying to get on with what we've got. Fair enough, we haven't got nothing to get on with. We've had no centre-backs if we didn't sign Anderson or Harme. But yeah, I'm happy, big centre-back. Um, obviously, he hasn't got that many games for his other teams. He's played 29 in three years, 15 in one year, then one game for the other team. Probably played a lot of, jun not junior football, but like reserve team under 21s football. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that.
good signing. Leeds fans are sad to see him go. A lot of Leeds fans said they would have liked to see him get his chance um, in the Leeds team, but obviously they've got two centre-backs and now three centre-backs better than him, so there's not a lot they can do. Hopefully he's good as they're making out, and hopefully he's a good enough backup for Pinnacle Lindsay, which everyone is to back up. But hopefully he's going to be good. In my opinion, we still need another centre back. We still need a backup centre back, and we've got we've got our backup right back, our backup full back, which is the next guy we're talking about. But this next guy can also play centre back, so I don't know if he'll be the backup for the centre back. But if he does, we still need one defender because we're still short on either the centre back or the right back. Because he can't cover both if a left back and a centre back gets injured. So we're going to get into the other signing. So yes guys, as you know, earlier in the season, one of the players we did lose was Zeki Friars. A full back that we had from Crystal Palace, I do believe. That's probably wrong, but I'm sure that's right. Zeki Friars has left. Um, he's out without a contract. We didn't offer him a new contract. I'm not sure if he's signed for anyone else. If he has, let me know. Well, the next player is Toby Peter Civic from AFC Wimbledon. He did sign on a four-year deal as well. He's a six-foot defender. Um, a lot of players, a lot of fans have been saying he can play as a right wing back, he can play as a centre back, he can play as a right back. So he's quite versatile in that right hand side of the defensive. That's like I was saying. He could cover for right back. He can cover for centre back. But we still need another defensive player just in case a full back and a centre back gets injured. So yeah, he's played for. A team called Feltham before he went to Wimbledon. And he's been at Wimbledon since 2014. Until 2014 to 2017 in his youth career. And his senior career. He's played first team football for Wimbledon in 2017 to 2019. He made 26 appearances I do believe last year. And a lot of Wimbledon fans like that Harme from Leeds. Are saying they're disappointed to see to Toby Sibic leave. I read a couple of comments from Wimbledon fans saying that um, even if not championship quality, he's got the potential. He's still young. He's still only 20 years old, so we're going to have him until he's like 24, nearly 25. With the four years we've got him, unless we sell him in between, obviously. But yeah, the Wimbledon fans did rate him. If any Wimbledon fans are watching this, let me know your thoughts on him. And any Barnsley fans, let me know your thoughts on the two signings. Um, we're getting players in, usually we're the club that leaves all the signings towards the end of the transfer window, but this is our 6th and 7th signing, so let me know your thoughts on that. Um, obviously it's disappointing losing our two main centre-backs and our goalkeeper, but we've just got to have trust in centre, have trust in the backroom staff of these players that they're bringing in, and hope that they're going to be equal quality to um, match what we've saw. So yeah, a 20-year-old English right wing-back slash centre-back, um, six foot, like it says on Wikipedia, so if that's wrong, I do apologise. This is where I do my research on Wikipedia and on the internet. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on these signings. Am I happy? Yes, but no. No, yes, because we're getting the players in, and no, because obviously I don't know. I've never seen the players. We've signed quite a few foreign lads. That is Harme, he's not, he's not had much experience. That Radlinger, he's, he's not played many games over in... Um, Austria or Germany. I know he's Austrian, but I think he'll play over in Germany. He didn't play many games over there. The Anderson, obviously, playing up wherever he came from. I don't know how good he is. The likes of Collins and Thomas, I've seen them play. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, these are going to be good assets to the team. Six and seven signing. I thought I'd do them both in a video instead of making separate videos. I saw that pointless. So, hopefully, this is better. Should be a video tonight slash it morning doing a review on our first friendly, which is against Staley Bridge Celtic. If you want me to do reviews on each friendly, even though I'm not going to um, I'll give you my thoughts on what people post on the internet and what bands they put on Twitter. Obviously, it'll be a mixed squad. It should be starting 11 in first half and a starting 11 in second half, and they both should be mixed with senior and youth players. So hopefully, we'll get a look at who's going to be here next season, because... Hopefully you like some Mars and your Woodrows and your Dougals that are injured but on recovery. Hopefully these play and we know they've got a good chance of being here next season. So yeah, in my opinion, as long as we don't sell any more first team players, I think we'll still be okay. It's going to be hard, don't get me wrong. But if we sell any more first, the more first team players that we sell that had such good chemistry last year, it's going to make it harder and harder next year because these new guys... In a championship, you haven't got time to settle down. You haven't got time to get used to things. It's straight in. You're playing ex-Premier League Fulham in the first game. It's not easy, is it? So, 
Toby Sibic and Apo Hame are officially bound to the players on four-year and three-year deal with an extension. Like I said at the start, sorry if I'm pronouncing the Apo Hame second name wrong. If, if you know how to actually pronounce it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, subscribe if you're new. We're on 1,283. So if you're new, could you subscribe? That would be amazing. And like I say, thank you for watching. It means the world. All the support is appreciated. And I highly doubt any of you guys have made it this far. But if you've somehow made it to up to 10 minutes, then that is amazing. So yeah, subscribe if you're new. Let's get it to 10 minutes like every YouTuber does. I'll see you next time. No one will be this far in the video. But if you are, comment. The reds are going up, even though we're not.